Hello everyone, this is Mr. Fu. Today I'm going to share with you my uh, own tabulation of the marks allocated for the GC O-level physics paper from 2011 to last year, 2020. Uh, I'd like to make a disclaimer here. Whatever I had computed here is not an attempt to predict the questions this year in 2021. I'm just trying to let you see the trend of the paper, the type of questions that examiner had to set over the past 10 years. All right, so I have divided this section into paper one and paper two. So the topics in physics include this as follow, from physical quantities, kinematics, blah, 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 wave, light, electricity, electromagnetic induction. This year, just like last year, the last topic will be taken out from the O-level examination. Although students have already completed the syllabus. Um, compared to chemistry, chemistry removed um, organic chemistry, which is a very big chunk. But for physics, right, this topic, in fact, doesn't contribute to a high percentage. So it doesn't make a very big difference, lah, I would say. So for physics or even for biology, there isn't much um, a difference in terms of the breakdown of, uh, isn't much a difference. Uh, for chemistry students, you really have so much more time to complete the paper, but it doesn't matter much for physics or bio. All right. Um, So what I do here is that I arrange the topics in this column according to the textbook topics. And I had actually um, count the percentage of the marks allocated for each topic. Right, I tried my best. It may not be totally accurate, but I did try my best. Uh, and you can see a trend here. The more yellow highlighted, portion means the percentage is more than 8%. Okay, I use this as my uh, reference point. Okay, there's no, um, how do I say, there's no um, uh, fixed rule uh, to set which percent you want. So this is only for paper one, the multiple choice. Uh, we can see in the recent years, right, the first topic, came out very frequently. The first topic include things like vectors, scalar, they like to ask these. They like to ask this question that has stunned students, like the size of the atom, the size of the earth. So please go and study them. Sometimes they ask about measurements, but it's getting less common, like um, how to use Fourier caliber and micrometer screw gauge. They are, but it seems to be lesser in recent years. So previously it was even just two marks, but we can see that they even increased to five marks in 2019. So just pay attention to this. Kinematics has always been popular, but surprisingly it was less important than physical quantities because this topic on kinematics was tested heavily in paper two. Same for dynamics. Uh, dynamics and kinematics, they like to lump them together for the structure paper. We can talk about that later. But for these two topics, um, still quite popular, but dynamics is less popular than kinematics uh, for paper one. Mass weight density, yep, not so much. Turning effect of forces about zero times. Yeah, you don't really see much turning effects of forces in MCQ. There are some in structure, but let me tell you, uh, it's just based on statistics. Uh, is a much mark for turning effects of force moment because it's the concept is not so much. Only two main things, how to calculate moment and calculate the force. And second thing, uh, center of gravity which is very easy. So, um, and they will always combine this with forces. If you look at one of the question, like the helicopter one, yeah, they will combine this with other topics and not just a standalone. One year they combine this with, uh, I think uh, we can also combine this with, um, I think it's something to do electricity. Yeah, I, yeah, one of them. It, even it can combine with electrostatic if it wants to. So it won't be a standalone topic. Lah most of the time. Pressure, let me see how many, six, well, that's quite high. Pressure is quite important also. Yeah. I forgot to mention that. Uh, pressure, oh no, sorry, it's energy work power, I see wrongly. Pressure only two times that you have more than 8%. But uh, just don't underestimate this topic. Uh. They could come up as a whole question on pressure, especially the hydraulic press. Yeah, and the manometer. Yeah, it can. 
energy work power is super popular. The second or third topic to take notice of uh, energy work power, third importance. Yeah, this topic came out a lot, a lot in MCQ. Yeah, although in some years only two marks, one mark, but uh, in recent years it's getting more common. Yeah. Then kinetic model of metal, um, it's a very small topic, uh, so it's quite expected that you won't see much of it in O level. Transfer of the energy, nah. If you say kinetic model of matter is small, surprisingly transport thermal energy, right? Some years, right, is even zero or only one questions. Very minimum. Yeah, maybe because this topic is a very lower set topic. I don't think they test so much in multiple choice. So, but you could have some questions in structure, but later you see, isn't that much. Temperature, another small topic, so it's expected to be zero. Thermal property of metal, I think more important in the other paper. Yeah, then wave, yes, wave is getting more and more important. But some years is not so much, lah. so it depends. Wave fluctuates, lah, just like itself, up and down. Uh, light, very important, especially for paper two, super important. Later I'll tell you that in detail. EM wave is a very small topic, so it's expected. Static, hmm, one or two questions lah, oh, consistently every year, Yeah, not so much. DC circuit with current electricity, it's a very big topic. You have Ohm's law, you have, um, uh, resistant, calculation of resistance, effective resistance, voltage. A lot, you have um, diode, I think, uh, LDR, you have terms, mister, mister, all these things, it's a lot of things. Huh? So it's a very big, big, big topic. So every year without fail, you have more than 8%. You have sometimes six questions, four, five. And this topic always slumped together with practical electricity. So when you study, right, these two must study together. The question can come together. Yeah, so better, better, better pay attention. Magnetism wise, no. Physics is a bit sway to one side compared to chem. Chem it kind of, there are a few big ones, but the rest they kind of are evenly distributed. But for physics, right, they seem to be very focusing on very big topics. Electromagnetic induction is very apparent. What are they focusing on? It's very apparent. So if you know how to study physics, right? Yeah, this is the key. What you must study especially for those weaker students who have weak foundation, right? In order for you to catch up with O level, these are the big topics that you shouldn't ignore. Lah. Like the last one, electromagnetic induction, but this one is taken out, so we don't care. Yep, so in all for paper one, when you reverse for paper one, pay attention to circuits, um, electricity, current electricity, physical quantity, and you need to make sure how to represent vector. You will not need to draw, but you need to know how to indicate the resultant force or the friction. They always have to ask that. Energy of power, yes. Light, yes. Electromagnetic induction, yes. If it's tested, but not this paper. So you can ignore this time round for this year. Kinematics, yes, and wave. And of course, not to neglect other topics. Huh? Just that uh, your, your main focus should be on the first few I mentioned. Okay, paper two. Well, that's what everybody will be very, very focused on because more marks are from here. So I also did the same way of classifying the marks based on the different topic year by year. So you can see that, let me tell you, based on statistics huh, uh, and recent year trend, thermal property of matter seem to hit the jackpot starting from 2016. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, you have 8% of more, which is very significant. In fact, they like to ask this a lot in, um, especially the section B. Yeah, and the questions are not very easy. I, re I realized it's some, some of the questions. One year they came up with a baritone runner, which is, if you do it the first time, right, it's really quite challenging. So you, you have to see that question again and try more thinking question because it may be another long questions on thermal property again, where you need to calculate a specific heat capacity. You have to use latent heat of vaporization and fusion, all these things. So you need to know how to use the correct equations and look at the units and see which is appropriate. So you need dimension and this is very important, okay? Or they may ask things a bit marks for maybe uh, determine the melting point, solidification, the graph. Yeah, a bit of that. Yeah, that is one thing to take note. I didn't really write down my focus here. So the area that is significant, okay, the topic that's significant is electricity. Lah. No doubt, every year we will feel a high percentage. Also take note of thermal properties of metal. And one more, I mentioned that just now when I went through the paper one. The thermal properties of metal and light. Yes, light. And study these two together, light and wave. In case 
Because if you look at light and wave, oh, very interesting trend. Very interesting. 2020, 10 marks for light. Okay, 3 marks for wave. You see, uh, in some years, right, you may not even have wave. But it doesn't mean you don't study for wave, lah, because it can come as a big surprise sometimes, where you have just 10 marks for wave and slightly less for light. But it could be a case whereby in 2011, both together take us 70 marks. So I, we do not want to speculate, lah, but I just have to tell you, light and wave, you just please don't, you know, although only two times is 8% or more, but sometimes it's very hard to say. Another topic is, yeah. The reason why I put light and wave below is because, um, I feel that thermal property is harder. Light, I think is really quite easy. Yeah, you, okay, in light, these are the standard question they will ask, like refraction, critical angle, very important. Total internal reflection, lenses, confirm or ask one. You just focus on this first, yeah. Then, uh, like those lower set topics like reflection, uh, yeah, you, they may still come up, but trust me, it's pretty easy and I don't think you will spend so much time on that. You should spend those upper set topics. Yeah, they like to test on that if you look at the trend. Then, um, of course, when you study electricity, right, I, I also include practical electricity. Lah. Yeah. For this year, right, um, electromagnetic induction is taken up due to the pandemic. So good, you can just ignore this. So you can, sometimes students are very confused between left hand rule and right hand rule. So good news for you, you just need to remember your left hand rule because the right hand rule will not be needed. Only the right hand grip rule, but the right hand rule to, um, to determine the direction of force in an AC generator, forget it, forget it. Transformer, forget it. CR, forget it. Good news for those who hate all this. Yeah, okay. So just focus on electromagnetism or lens law also, forget it. So only electromagnetism, DC motor, that's it. They only test DC motor. If there's an electromagnetic induction question, just track it off. They will ask you to remove the question. That's like last year. Um, last year was good because the question, the topic was taken out, but it came out nine marks. So, yep. Another topic, yeah, practical electricity I mentioned already. Then light, I mentioned, what else? Okay, do pay attention to sound, although it only appear two times, and statics only appear one time, because it may come as a surprise attack. Sound came out eight marks one year, 10 marks in one year. So, and surprisingly EM wave in the earlier years, but I'm not sure about recent year, seven marks is quite a lot for this very small topic. They really ask all the, like, the user, da, 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 very factual question. But in recent years, right, you notice that it's getting lesser because really EM wave, really nothing much, huh? very factual based question, that right? it's just memory. So there are some questions definitely ask you to recall, but they won't give so much marks to that. More marks are given for application, like explanation, calculation, maybe some marks, but more like explanation. And a lot of, you notice a lot of indirect questions, right? Um, that kind, yeah. So application questions, just be careful. Uh, energy work power is another one that you should pay attention to. Yeah, better pay attention. Normally they come out in session A. Yeah, normally in, in your usual case, it came out four times. So dynamics, so dynamics you study together with moments and forces. Okay, just make sure you lump them together to study. And mix, of course, mass weight density. Lah. Yeah, all this. Okay, so this, what I did here was arranging the topic in terms of important. The rest of it doesn't mean they are useless. It's just that, Based on statistics, right? I will need you to focus on the one that actually came out consistently. So if you really don't know electricity, you can forget about passing physics really. If you cannot understand this topic of electricity, don't know how to calculate current, don't know how to don't know what's Ohm's law, don't know, uh, don't know um how to um uh, interpret the different type of graph of current against potential difference or interpreting. Uh, circuit diagram and do some calculation. Uh, forget it. Practical electricity cannot do. Forget it. You can don't think about passing maybe. Yeah. And these are the other topics that you should be pay attention to. Okay. So that's it. I hope 
this will help you. Yeah, but please, I make a disclaimer here. I need to claim that this is not for speculation. Yeah, it's just the breakdown based on the marks over the past 10 years. As, we, as I progress over the years, I will keep on adding to it and see how is it. Yeah, so that's it for today. Yeah, you, thanks for, I hope that you can uh, follow me on my YouTube. So I will have more uh, things to show. I can only show physics and chem because I'm not a biology expert. Yeah, so that's about it. Thank you.